Hey everybody, Teresa Sigmund here, and I wanted to share with you an excerpt from today's live video Q&A call. Now you're going, all right, well, what's the big deal about a Q&A call? About every two to two and a half weeks, I hold a live video meeting for all the members that are participating in my Sew Like a Pro course. Now, what are the Sew Like a Pro courses? I teach people how to make competition quality, ballroom, country, and skating dresses. And so part of the supplemental training is this live one-on-one. -on -one. I hold it on Zoom meeting and there's anywhere from maybe six to 12 participants. We get to talk and laugh and, and have a great time discussing their dresses. I get to answer their questions. The question that we're going to address today is how to get a Leafs leotard to fit her curvy bust line better so that she can create this beautiful standard gown sketch that you see here in the photo. So come on, let's get started with today's Q&A excerpt. Okay, so let's see here, Sharon, Sally. Okay, so I am back to um, Carrie and Alif. Is anybody in a hurry to leave the call? Actually, Alif, let's do you first, and that way in case you lose power as the storm comes in. <laughs> So Carrie, do you mind waiting a few minutes? Okay, perfect. <laughs> I guess what I need to do is put the elastic band right um, for, for the fitting um, from the front to the back. Just, just the elastic so that it holds the bust, uh, bustier line with the back. Okay. And then do the, uh, rip the side seam and kind of do that fixing like that, right? Okay. Actually a really simple fix. The back looks fabulous. The zipper install, beautiful, love it. This, um, the dress that we're talking about, ladies, the images are also on Facebook. She, I downloaded these pictures off. I had actually already downloaded them from Facebook before you emailed them to me again. So what we are talking about here is these, bat, these little bat wings on the side. And the reason these happen is because there is no dart right here ah. so but that's okay you don't have to have a dart here we can compensate and put it right here instead or just take in here so on Andrea's dress pretty much any kind of sweetheart neckline ends up being a problem because we're making such a steep curvy shape so generally on any dresses that are low cut, I add a bust dart because it helps hold it together right here and make it hug the body. Whether you have mesh or not, because you're going to put mesh here, I, I would put, still put the bust dart here even if there was mesh up here. Or sweetheart necklines because they're just one of the most difficult shapes to fit, especially larger breasted women because they're, they're just tough shapes. So because you do not have a dart here, okay, we'll just do it without a dart. You want to take all of this excess in right here at the princess seam. Okay. I wasn't you, sure if I should take it in the side panel or uh, from the front panel or both. Uh, I would say let's do both. Let me combine. You're going to do uneven amounts. So let me draw on this. And sorry for the weird bust shape of that form because I gave the <laughs> That's okay to me before I kind of uh, put the cover on. Yes, yeah, you are both. I don't. That is. I'm sorry that both you ladies are having, both you and Anne Marie are having such problems with your your uniquely you. Ooh, that's a mouthful. Dress forms. Okay, so we are going to now that that's done. We're going to take in a little bit from the front and most of it from the side. So if you had had the bust dart here, which I put in Andrea's dress, so you can go um, watch the fitting videos on that or probably whenever I'm sewing it, I actually talk about putting it here. You, if you had the bust dart here, it would basically pull this seam inward does that make sense and right. therefore in doing that it would i keep moving this can way. i still do it or is it too late no you can put it in 
you will probably still have to take in some on the side. Okay. Even if you do this dart in the, in the front here. Does this fit you better or worse than it fits this dress form? Um, it does fit better. But I was gonna put the mesh just like Andreas from all the way from, from here and with the arms too and then to the back, just like Andreas. If you want to do this dart here, you can. However, it's fitting this actually fits really well. So if this fits you equal or better than it does the dress form, I would say just take it out here, out on this area. So then what you're going to, and then that way it just saves a seam. Well, you have one less seam then, there we go. So what I would do is come in and take, um, Maybe you'll probably end up doing about a half inch or about 13 millimeters on the center front. These two look rather asymmetrical. So well, actually, I, they are really much better. I don't know the way probably I pinned it. They are. Okay. Because when I saw the pictures, I was like, yeah, I'm like, are they this symmetrical? They are actually not. Right. So if I go visually, this is what they look like. So you'll need to, which is considerably different between the two. Okay. So if it does not look like this on you, take in whichever one you think is appropriate based on how it actually fits. Okay. And then on the side, I would come in and take more in on this side panel. Okay. And then over here, it would be, a whole lot more because it just looks like it's that much looser on the other side. Okay. And then that would take care of it. This over here is totally fine. Most of this issue, because we're going to, will actually get pulled up here. Okay. And so what little bit remains right here, a ah, piece of cake, you can come in and just maybe barely take in just a few millimeters quarter of an okay. inch, few millimeters, it'll be, and you might not even need this okay. once you'll, so don't do the side until you've actually done the bust because this may be completely gone by then. And on me, when I put it on, it feels like I need to take a tidbit under the bust okay. right here. Okay. Do I need to, or should I do the side first and then worry about under the bust? Because um. this, the, the waist is a little bit larger than mine mm -hmm. on the floor. So I have bagginess here. Just okay. Like if, you, if you have bagginess, then go ahead and take it in. On okay. this particular dress form, it doesn't look like it needs it. Right. But if it looks like... If it looks like it needs it on you, then yeah. I would go ahead and do so. Okay. So this is complete judgment call just based on how it fits you. This, I think back here is great. Are you going to cut off the little point? I was going to say, what do you think? How should I bring the sweetheart, you know, the underarm mm -hmm. to the back? I don't want those any points in the back. I really don't. And I just cut more fabric just in case because I wasn't sure how that was going to work. I was going to cut off the little flaps on the back. Yeah. So where should I, you think, get the back calm? Um, I would be tempted to lower these a little bit. If we okay. lower this about 25 millimeters or about an inch and just round that out a little bit, you're right. actually going to look higher breasted because there's less blue fabric. About yay much, keep going. And then we'll go there. And then okay. that will kind of blend in. And you'll have to do this with a tape measure to actually get a better line than what I'm drawing. But that's, okay. the, that's the gist of it. That way we can cut off all of this, which will be easier sewing for you. This will be a more flattering line. And then this keeps the height that you already have in the back. Okay. This looks great overall. This is going to be a beautiful dress. 